South Suburban College's Art and Design Department recently hosted 25 high schools, including seven Indiana high schools, to participate in the annual High School Art Festival. The High School Art Festival is an exhibition that we host here at the college uh, through the Art Department, and it showcases uh, the student work of high schools in the area. The, the High School Art Festival has been going on now for approximately 15 years. The, um, initially was started uh, in the 90s with uh, our core in-district high schools that needed a place to exhibit their artwork. But what first started as a place for the high schools to display work has grown into what's been called a day of art. I definitely see this show as an opportunity for them to validate the work and also a day dedicated to art. Uh, I think in high schools, uh, you don't just take one day aside and say, this is important, what you do and what you have to say and your form of expression. It's great to see the work, but when you see the kids coming in and walking around the galleries, trying to find their piece, and then when they find it, you see their eyes, they're really excited about it. On the surface, the fest just may seem like a field trip for high school students. But the High School Art Festival is really a bunch of young artists that are getting together, and they're making art, they're looking at each other's art, and it's kind of like a cross-pollination of ideas and images. This day of art brings these regional high school students together to experience art in a completely different way. This year, Chicago-born artist Richard Hunt served as a keynote speaker. I feel fortunate to have uh, the compassion of some of those famous artists to come to South Suburban College to uh, speak to the students. Uh, it gives them insights into their educational background, uh, why they're making art, and um, how to succeed in art, I suppose. He brings a lot of experience, a lot of expertise. He's a very well-known artist, not only in Chicago, uh, but internationally, and his work is excellent. In addition to the speakers, we have these workshops, which enable students to see perhaps some techniques and some processes that they wouldn't normally see in a high school environment. And what we're trying to do here with the hands-on on the workshops and, uh, and the speaker is to make it a day about art, uh, but not just looking at art, interacting with art, seeing it's important, and then uh, individually and as a group. We had an open lab time in which they were able to come in and sit down in our lab, work with the computers, open Photoshop, do a little bit of drawing, and pretty much having a feel of what is it to be a student here at South Suburban. This year I said, hey, come on into the clay studio and I'll show you how to throw a pot. Because it's kind of like you get people into it and all of a sudden they're having fun. It's just not a day of fun and games because the students do actually learn from each other. They're interacting with each other. They're being, uh, they're questioning what they're seeing uh, from, from each high school. And they realize art is, is, art is something bigger than just what, they, what they're doing on paper or in canvas or in clay. The deal is, is you go into art and you are involved in these, these larger concerns, pattern recognition, and you learn how to think in a different way. And it's, it's very beneficial for folks throughout their lives. But are the high school students the only ones benefiting from the fest? Every day that I walk in, I see something new. And it's inspiring to us, and it's very inspiring to our students. Is even though they're college level and that's high school artwork, there's no separation in art. It all speaks. There is all kinds of themes, techniques, subject matter display in the work, and it's really exciting to see our own students also learning from that experience. There's so little support for the arts that and it, they're so important I mean and people who go oh yeah it's nice but don't try and make a living at it but the fact of the matter is is that it's pretty much what it's all about the creative expression of the human spirit is is way beyond you know a business if a student finds a passion in art he should go after it you know I kind of reinforce in my classes too but if this is your passion this is something you should try to follow